I'm Rima Ilebo, MD, and I'm the medical director of the Natural Solutions Foundation. And today, I've been sitting through a long day of codex deliberations. I thought I'd share some of my verbatim notes with you for the purpose of allowing you to get the flavor of the deceptive and dangerous proceedings which Codex allows to happen and encourages. First of all, the meeting was opened today here in Geneva by Jorgen Schlund, a former chairperson of the Codex Alimentarius Commission. And he said uh, very nice sounding things like, the world is facing increasingly complex challenges in the international trade of food. And he mentioned that recently the 63rd World Health Assembly which is the uh, ruling body of the World Health Organization, unanimously adopted a resolution on advancing food safety and nutrition, which he said are serious public health issues. And, of course, this body asked World Health Organization to provide global leadership, perhaps the same kind of global leadership that it provided in the H1N1 phony pandemic or the avian flu bioengineered pandemic or the SARS bioengineered pandemic and the vaccines which it recommended, which it wanted everyone to have injected containing squalene and similar dangerous infertility and health destroying molecules. Maybe that same WHO. He said there was an updated need for international standards and he said, we don't have a clear picture of the real burden of food-borne disease. So what we need to do is spend lots and lots of money on food-borne disease studies, not realizing or not admitting that food-borne diseases includes diseases which are caused by undernutrition, more of that later, diseases which are caused by toxic chemicals, more of that later, and diseases which are caused by intentionally degrading the food supply. More of that later.